Yo, what is going on everybody? So I uh, decided to uh, make a video that everybody's been asking for. And if, uh, if you look on your screen right now, you're going to see this awesome dragon. So me and my buddy, uh, Bassin C4, uh, he's been a good friend of mine since like day one almost. And uh, we went into uh, Save the World and we busted out this dragon. It took us a while to get it to where we, you know, kind of liked it. So, uh, if you like the dragon that you guys see on the screen right now, this is a dragon that we're going to be making today. Uh, I'm doing it in creative, as you can tell. Uh, it's just a lot easier for me to record here. Um, but, super easy. Looks freaking dope once you upgrade all the way and all that. And then, plus, if you're in creative, you can use different parts and stuff like that. But we're just going to use uh, wooden brick. Um, I know the picture showed metal. Uh, I think it looks a lot better with metal, personally, but uh, it's just it's just easier. So uh, with that being said, uh, first thing I want to do is, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up. Uh, if you ain't subscribed, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications because we're going to be doing more builds in the future. Um, yeah, tell your buddies and, you know, obviously follow me over on Twitter if you guys get these dragons built shoot me a picture or post them to Twitter and tag me in them because I want to see everybody's dragon and their interpretation on it. Um, it looks like a lot in the picture. It's really simple. We're going to break it down into four easy steps. We're going to do the legs for step one. Step two is going to be the body and the tail. Step three is going to be the head. And then step four will be the wings. All right, so four easy steps and uh, we'll bust it out. I'm going to try to keep the video as short as possible. Um, also, why explaining everything as much as I can. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into this. We're going to head down this way because we're going to have to head down this way. All right. So first things first is we're going to we're gonna place our floor, right? And the feet uh, from front to back is a total of six spaces. So that means you're going to have this one right here. And you're going to have four empty spaces and then another foot, right? So you're going to have the one two, three, four, and then uh, five, and here's the sixth one, right? So that means we should have four empty spaces in between. So one, two, three, four, all right? And then you can just match it up on the other side. We're just gonna make the body one length wide. Uh, you can do two lengths wide, right? So if you wanna come out an extra one and make the body a little bit thicker, you can. I didn't, so we're just doing that and everything right here is just kind of lined up the same, right? All right, so there's the bases for your four feet. <coughs> All right, so six spots away, which means there's four empty spots in the middle, right? Four empty squares in the middle. So easiest thing you can do, right? All right, now from this, we're going to use our triangle pieces again um, just because I just I like how the triangle pieces look, right? So we can get rid of that. All right, now when it comes to the legs, it's if you watch the skull video, um, they're kind of kind of starts off the same way in the skull video, so it's uh, really really easy. So right at the bottom, right, we're gonna come over here, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna show one leg on how to build it because there's no need to show you all four legs because they're built exactly the same. So I'm gonna show you one leg. And then I'll build the other three, but I'll cut those out, right? And I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So we'll put this one here, and we're going to put this one here, right? Easy, easy, easy. All right, now we're going to come up here. We're going to build one wall straight around, right? Obviously, we're going to fill these in, and we're going to edit them, right? Um, so here, let me come out to the outside so you guys can see what the edits are going to look like in case it's kind of new for you. <coughs> We're just going to edit it with the way we got the stairs or the triangle pieces. So that's going to go there. And then this one, you can see the triangle piece is coming down. So we got to edit this piece. Uh, we need that middle piece back right there like that. And then we'll come over here and we'll edit this one like that. So the first part, super easy. That's where we're looking at, right? All right. So once you got one box high, right? You're going to go ahead and you're going to pull out your uh, triangle piece and you're going to place it right up above like that. Super easy. 
super super easy <coughs> once you do that if you got a ninja we don't want that there ninja just double down place the floor right and that's that's it so we'll come back to the inside like I said if you got your ninja you can just kind of double jump up there if you don't have a ninja and you're using like an outlander or something you know you could just kind of like build a floor with stairs whatever but ninja you can easily double jump up there so we're just gonna fly oops oops oops, oops. alright and then again we're just gonna fill this stuff in right so fill it in fill it in fill this in we're gonna edit this to make it you know even fill this one in and make it even and then I'm gonna come over here all right so you're gonna put one wall on top of the angles right and you're gonna put that now here you're going to uh, do four more walls so like I said with ninjas you can double jump but this part you can do anything that's going to be there and so just like that all right all right now that you got that you got this open looking piece right here and you're going to take uh your triangle piece i don't know where that one went but turn it see what i'm saying and you'll you can see how it connects this part it's not supposed to be there all right then uh you're just gonna fill this in and you're gonna edit it to make it look good nice and clean all right and there's your leg all right so we'll do this step three more times you know on the other platforms that we got and uh, once you get the all four legs done you will be done with step one so if you want just go ahead and pause the video here and once you get all four legs, just come back into the video and we'll move on to the body and the tail. But uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's the first leg. This is going to be step one. And I'll be back with you guys for uh, step two here in just a few minutes or moments. Okay, so now that you guys got stage one done, you can see everything is... Uh, perfectly aligned everything's exactly the same there's no differences right so from this point we can move forward to uh, the body and the tail <coughs> and uh, yeah and like I said I, I gotta give Bass a big big shout out man he uh, he did freaking awesome I mean we spent hours and hours on this thing trying to get it ironed out so now once you get this what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the tail real fast you know to kind of bust it out because it's the e is it's super easy just take your uh ninja and double jump up to uh not that part but this part right here right it's uh <clears throat> if you're looking at it you got the one the very top diagonal piece on the back it's going to be the one right next to it so the first full block in between both legs right this is where we're going to be at. And, uh, let me, uh, we're going to go ahead and flip this around, all right? And we're just going to start working our way down. I'm going here. I'm going to go down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, then over four, three, four. Right, so you can see it's down one over one, down one over one, right? Super, super easy. So make sure you get that. All right, so we definitely, definitely need that. All right, now once you get, and that's the bottom of the tail, right? So once you get the bottom of the tail, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip this again. That way it's just easier. Knock that out the way. We're gonna go come to the end, place it, and we're just gonna kind of follow right along with the part that we have here. So if we do that, we close it, 
we don't want that closed so we're going to angle back up over angle up and then from this part instead of coming over with the floor like that we're not going to do that we're going to just angle up angle up and now you can see that we're even with the top of the legs we're going to angle up one more right so you're just going to continue to angle up until you're one square higher than the back legs right now once you do this we're going to put some floors <clears throat> and uh, make sure that you're just one high above the back legs you got to make sure and we're going to take our floor pieces two three four so we're at four and if you look down we're not quite even with the bottom box we want to be even with that bottom box that's right there we're lined up with the diagonal part so we're going to put one more and now you can see that we're even right so that should be five spots yep so you come up you do your three angles you kind of follow along until you're able to place a box here you don't put this box here and close it off you just angle up all the way till you're one uh, let me switch this over till you're one box high above and then you're going to come over five I think that's five Let's see it's one two three four five yep five and you can see that it's lined up with this bottom one don't you don't have to go above this box right here don't worry about this box the reason that we're stopping there right is because the, the next part going up is the neck and that neck and head is saved for the next step so now that we did that we'll come back and we'll do the bottom of the body and it works out great because this is where the bottom of the body starts right so we're here and what we got to do is we need to um, angle our piece to like that again all right so because we're gonna go down one so come here and we're gonna go down one all right so like I said we're in the middle of the leg right here and here we're gonna go down one and then we're gonna build floors across and we're gonna line up with the front of the legs see right here just bam bam and then we're gonna need another angled piece right there so this piece does not need to be here so we'll fly out here and take a look at what it's looking like so far all right so there we go that's what it's looked like so far and from this point really really need your ninja because it does awesome we're gonna go three high one two three right and then uh, you can start filling in from here if you want or you can just kind of like finish up the neck that way we can just kind of move on to the next part but it's not going to matter so once you get three high right three high puts you one above the shoulder which lines up with this piece over here so what we'll do is we're just going to have it go ahead and close everything off, right? So we'll close this off and we'll close this off. So just go ahead and do that. You'll come up three high and then you'll start enclosing everything. So from this point, I'm going to go ahead and skip the video. Um, so you just pause it here and just go through and fill everything in on the body. Uh, don't worry about putting no floors right here or nothing. But uh, yeah, go ahead. Pause the video right here if you want, fill in the body, and then I'll get with you guys when we start in on the next step. Alright guys, so now that you guys are done with uh, that last step, you should have the body filled in and the tail filled in and have all the proper edits. Um, I did go through and I kind of deleted some walls that were unnecessary on the inside. And I'll show you what those are here in a minute. Just so when you're on the Save the World, you can kind of save some mats. 
Um, another thing I did was this piece right here. I'm pretty sure if you're looking at your stuff, that was a full piece like that because I had a floor right here. I took that floor out and I put in a diagonal piece. That way it looks more like a tail and it didn't look, I just thought it looked better this way. So make sure if you want to do that, do that. But uh, I'll come in here to show you guys real quick what walls I deleted. So these were the arms. Um, all this stuff was filled in when we did step one. But I took them out and I edited instead of it, you know, when we first had it edited, I had it edited like this from step one. I just reversed the edit. That way um, it doesn't. That way it doesn't leave no holes. So you might have to re-edit a couple of the arms when you're filling things in. Feel free to do that. That way everything looks solid from the outside. I also did the same thing with the back. So we could travel all the way down into the feet and stuff like that, you know. So these are just walls that we don't need if you're trying to save uh, mats. Uh, if you don't want to delete them, you can. You don't have to. You can just keep them. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I did knock that stuff out because it was unneeded. So yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. And now we'll get on to the head, which is step three. And we'll get step three done and then move on to step four, right? And then once we get step four done, you know, obviously we're done. All right, so now this part right here where we left off, right? Let me see. Uh, all right. So this part right here where we left off, where it's even with the one right after the diagonal, right? We're going to come here, and we're going to place one backwards, right? Once we place, and this is going, this is like the neck area, and then we'll do that side here in a second, but this is like the neck area. So if you want to close this part off so you can walk around and make things easier, you can because we're going to be coming like this. Right, and we're going to do our edits. That way it keeps you from having to uh, like jump around or anything like that. Um, but it will be something that is not needed later on. So you could definitely put it in for right now. And then with this, uh, we're going to come one high. So if you're looking at it, this is the one we left off on. We placed one triangle, right? These or unneeded builds that we can delete later and we just make everything even right so we're just gonna make everything even all the way up <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna do right now once you hit this part we're gonna take another another piece like that and like I said you if you want all this stuff you can fill in to kind of help you walk around if you want but it's all unnecessary builds you're just gonna do your edits all right do your edits here. And you're going to bring it just straight over. Alright, and like I said, everything's even again. So we got one diagonal on the bottom for the back of the neck, and then one diagonal up on the top. Okay. So that's where we're at now. And from this point, everything's even. Now we're going to kind of like move down to do like the bottom of the jaw and then we'll so it'll come out come down and then we'll kind of snake our way back to where it all lines up right here right. So once you do this all we're going to have to do is place a floor. Let's see where uh, my diagonal is facing. And then we're going to take our diagonal piece and go down one and two, right? So we're gonna go from the top diagonal piece right here at the top of the neck, we're gonna come one floor out and then go diagonal two, right? Now once we hit this, oh, I missed it, don't laugh at me. We're gonna come here and we're gonna go one out again pull up our diagonal piece, we're going to turn it, right, and we're going to come up one. So we're going to only have one floor here, um, this right here don't need to be there, and this piece right here 
I thought maybe it would be here. Alright, so we come down two, one floor, come up one, and then it's basically going to be one, two. We're going to build two floors, right? Uh, I just want to make sure that's proper. Then we're going to go back up one. Then we're going to place a floor above us. And we're just going to come out and make it even over here. All right. So this is what it kind of looks like. See what I'm saying? So right here, we come out one floor, go down two, one floor, up one. So your diagonal piece or your tri uh, pyramid piece going up or stairs, whatever. Come back two, go up one more diagonal, and then you're going to come out to make it even. All right. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to put a wall there to kind of stop. This is going to be our stopping point for right now so we can get all this stuff filled in. All right. So I don't want to go any higher than that. So we're going to come here. Edit it. Here. Edit. Here. We're going to keep that one full. Right. So keep that as a full wall and this one as a full wall. We're going to edit this. Come back, edit this one. That way it's nice and clean. And then we uh, just fill in the bottom of the jaw. And I'll, I'll show you why we're going to keep that this wall right here, a full wall here in one second. Take this one. We're going to edit it. Take this one and edit it, right? So the reason why we kept this one as a full wall because what we're going to do is we're going to put a wall right here and we're going to edit the bottom of this, right? Uh, let's see, put this, put a wall over here, if I can get it, edit the bottom inside ones, just like that. So you can see how it's like that. And the reason we did that is because when we was building it, it just turned out a lot it looked a lot better when it was like that instead of having a super thin jaw. So that's why we did it the way we did right here. And uh, this was Bass's idea right here, and I thought it was pretty wicked. Right? All right, so now that we're back up here. All right, so use your ninja and uh, double jump up so you can place, you know, pyramid. And we're going to pyramid up two. And then we're going to stop. So we're going to do two pyramids there off this front wall. We're going to do two pyramids up and stop. All right, so like I said, you got the one here. You come up two diagonal pieces. So this is the top of the mouth. This is the bottom of the mouth. Everything is straightforward across, right? Now once you come back over here, we're going to build two high. One, two. Like I said, use your, use your ninja to double jump. And uh, you're going to go one staircase and then floors straight across to connect the top of the head. So there's the head outline. Right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in super fast. I won't edit this part out because it's not going to take very long. So we're going to take this. And you can just... Fill it in and then do your edits. That way everything is nice and clean. Come up here to the next one. Use your, like I said, you make sure you use your ninja. Double jump, triple jump. Makes it a whole lot easier. Come on. Place it, place it, place it. I won't fill in the other side the way it's got it this time. Now once we get to here, right, we're going to look right where the mouth opens. So right here, we're going to skip one full box and we're going to come up here. Now here you can kind of make, make the eye however you want. You can, you know, do something like that. You can come back like this. This is going to be your eye. So however you want it, but in the picture we have it like this and we have a campfire placed. Um, we actually closed it in to try and make sure that the campfire would uh, kind of show up. Which, I mean, it didn't turn out too bad. But, yeah, so there's that. And that's uh, 
that's step three, right? So that's the neck and the head. Um, if you want to put the teeth in, all we did was uh, we used brick and we put a full wall here and here and we just edited it like this and you can do that on both sides, right? Super easy. So that's what it's looking like. That's the head and the neck. So get all that filled in and then we'll move in on step four and get the wings, right? Uh, so I'll meet you guys over there. Go ahead, pause it, meet you guys over there. All right, guys. So now we're back. And once you get everything filled in, we got one step left, which are the wings. And if you guys want to see the accessories, I will show the accessories, like the little spikes that we have on the head and the tails and stuff. Um, but once the wings are done, I mean, we're completely done, right? So this is what it should be looking like uh, so far. So everything is all filled in. Everything is nice and clean. We got the tail down here. Everything is all lined up nice and pretty. So where we're going to come, right, and you can use uh, your double jump or triple jump. We're going to come right up on top of this shoulder, right? So once you're standing on top of this shoulder, to find the placement of the wing is basically you're going to skip. Uh, let me uh, let me get this. So from this shoulder, you're going to skip this block. So you can see how we got one block right here. We're going to skip that one. That one's going to be empty, right? So I'm just going to fly and we're going to put it right here. So if you line it up, it's going to be lined up with the diagonal uh, pyramid that we have right here, right? So we're going to do this and we're going to place one more. So we're going to have two complete ones. So we'll come out here and take a look at it. So if you go one further over here, you'll be touching. That's not what you want. And you don't want it touching over here. So it's going to be the two block, two full blocks in between. <clears throat> so from here, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to make a little box and we're going to put a little roof just so if you want to take out the walls, this wall will not be needed because it's going to be covered by the wing, right? Now, once you go from here, you're going to come over and uh, since we don't want to touch that one, uh, that back leg, we're going to come over and we're going to put a stair piece. So we're going to have the one stair piece. And we're going to come up, place a flat piece, and then we're going to place another stair piece. And this is where we're going to kind of like just head straight up and we're going to head uh we're going to head up six of them. So that, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So we're going to come here and we're going to place the floor. And we're going to make this one too wide. So we're going to place another floor. And this is where we need to take this and uh, flip it around. All right, so that is not needed. And we're going to come down, right? And we're going to come down three, one, two, three, we're going to place a floor, not that floor, we're going to place the floor out here. So we'll place one floor, come out, go down one more, place one more floor, and then come down again, and we'll drop down here and place a wall. So if we take a look at it, let's delete this floor real quick because that is not needed. <coughs> So there's the wing, right? And as you can see, if we come in here, uh, if you want to delete the unnecessary walls to get some mats back, come here, we'll do this, edit this one. So we got walls behind it that we won't need, like this wall, and uh, this wall will have to be edited if you want it kind of open. That way you don't get uh, a show through on the back. And then, yeah, we just come here and fill everything in right front and back so all this over here that'll be uh, covered come back here and we'll edit this piece right to make it nice and clean with the edge but yeah super easy wing um, <clears throat> and you do it the exact same on the other side it'll be easy to line up so if you want to go ahead and pause the video right here and then get ready for the accessories like the little spikes that we have go ahead i'm just going to go fill this in um 
and then I'll be right back once I finish filling this in with the other wing. So go ahead, pause it, and I'll be right back with the finished product. All right, guys. So once you completed the wings, well, first of all, let me say welcome back. So once you completed the wings, your dragon is technically done. If you want it to look more like uh, mine and Bass's and our home bases, then, uh, I mean, this is just kind of like the extra necessities. So find your way to the very top of the dragon, all right? and go to right above the eye, all right? And so we're gonna come up here, right above the eye, and we're gonna switch the brick. But we're not gonna do that one. All right, so we're gonna be one behind the eye. We're gonna do this. We're gonna edit these walls, right? Like this and like this. And then what we did is put, not that, why do I keep putting that? We could, we put stairs, right? And we didn't upgrade it. We just left it. We thought it looked, you know, pretty sick with the upgraded metal. Uh, once we finish this first one, we're going to skip a full block and we're going to come back to the very back and we're going to put one stair, right? Back up and we're going to put two stairs above it. Right? So... This is what it's looking like. Then we're going to fill this in with uh, the walls. And make our little edits with it. Make it nice and neat. Do this one. And like I said, this is just for the accessories. If you guys want it, you don't need to do this. Or you can kind of put whatever accessories that you guys want to on it. So finish this up. Finish those edits. Finish uh, these edits. And we'll finish this edit. Oops, messed up. So top, corner, um, okay. So, there's that one. Let's get a door. All right, so this is kind of like what it's looking like so far, right? And once you do that, you're going to come to the bottom of this one. Right? And this is just going to be one stair here and one stair here oops that one's too far down we're only going to go one block down so it's easy if you like take your wall and if I could actually put the right one all right so we'll have that there and then we'll fill this in really simple edits Really simple edits. Fill this one in, and this one in. But yeah, dude, like I want to thank every one of you guys for taking time out and watching my videos and stuff like that, leaving likes. It's, it, I mean, you guys are freaking amazing. So once we do that one, we'll go down to the last one for the head. And this one's super easy. You just line it up with this bottom diagonal piece right here. I think that was too far. Yeah. So here. And then we'll look one above us. Put these. We'll edit these. And I got a couple out there that I don't want. So I'll have to delete those. Like I said, these ones I do not upgrade. Um, uh, I just... We like them better without them being upgraded. I mean, to each their own, you know what I mean? So if you guys like them upgraded, feel free to upgrade them. So close this off and we're going to delete this one and this one. All right, so we'll come out here and check this out. <clears throat> so there's the head. Um, the other ones are super, super easy. And basically we just came over here and we put a wall here, wall here, wall here. And this, put our stairs, right? We'll come down to the next one, put our stairs, wall, wall, wall. This and this. So this is all up to your guys' free will type of deal. Skip one, 
put this up and do this all right so that's like the last of it and with that being said that is the dragon that me and bass and c4 came up with if you guys liked it make sure to leave a comment shouting bass out i mean he put in just as much work as i did on this and we're both like super super excited about it and uh i mean there's been a lot of people saying that they wanted to see it and that they loved the video and stuff like that so this is it and uh yeah so with that being said thank you guys again and peace out <laughs>